What's the first thing you have to like? Well, you got to like the picture first, don't you? I do. If I go look for a puzzle to put together, I, if I don't like the picture, I'm not too motivated to put it together. So I've got to like the picture, and if I like the picture, I'm going to buy it. Then I'm going to take it home, and I'm going to dump it out on the table. This is like dumping out all your contacts. What do you do? You start flipping over all these pieces, right? You've got to get the colorful side up. You start to look for common threads and themes and colors and streaks or whatever, but most importantly, you look for those, those four corner pieces. Those are the first four pieces you really need to find. You find those four cornerstones of the puzzle, once you get those in place, then you can start to find all the other straight edges and start to make a border. And you can connect those edges and then you can start to put the whole puzzle together, right? This is exactly how we build a new skin business. We identify the four cornerstones of our puzzle. We put those in place first. The four cornerstones are F, F, B, C. Always remember that. Family, friends, business contacts, and community contacts. And those can be you know, neighborhood organizations. They can be re religious affiliations. They can be your uh, Rotary Club. They can be your book club. They can be whatever community that you want to belong to, that you do belong to. Everybody in this room has these four networks already in your life. Those are the networks we're going to start with, with everybody. We don't do it any other way. This is exactly how we do it. It's the only way we do it. And when I have a brand new person, the first thing I say to them when we get ready to start is I say, I want you to show me your five best family members. Who's your most aggressive family member, most successful? What's their name? Okay, it's John. Okay, who's number two? It's Sue, Aunt Sue. Okay, and my cousin Billy and Johnny, you know, the, the son of John, my uncle John, okay? And these are the people. How do you sponsor those people? What would you recommend that this, you know, person does, this new distributor? Does he take John and Sue and Billy and Johnny and sponsor them all himself? No, that would not be advisable, okay? You always take these groups of people and you align them vertically. Okay, don't ever go and tell that person, okay, let's sponsor all five of those people on your front line. You don't want to do that because then you've taken family members who know each other and you've pitted them against each other to divide up the rest of the family. And what you want to do is you want to take your most aggressive family member and sponsor them first to you. And you call that family member, and that's John, in this case, you call John and say, John, here's what I'm doing. I've got my partner on the phone. This is what we're engaged in. We've got these incredible products, phenomenal patents, unbelievable breakthrough. The thing is going to be significant. I'm doing it, okay? I'm going to go after Sue and Johnny and Billy and all these other family members that you know. But if you want to do it first, I'm going to sponsor you and I'll put all the family members under you. Now, that gives them a little bit of something to think about a little bit of a carrot and a little bit of fear of loss because then you say that if you don't want to do it then I'm going to go directly to those people now but I'm coming to you first all right if they join you stack those other family members vertically you take John and the new distributor and yourself and all three of you start to recruit you're going to go right down that line and you're going to stack those people under each other and when you do that John will benefit from those other family members as you promised him and the person that's on the end, the family member on the end, the third or fourth one down there now, will have the benefit of all the other family members above in their upline that are there to help them and support them. So it goes both directions and everybody wins instead of going horizontally and pitting them against each other. Right? Okay. And then you do the same thing. Who's your most aggressive and successful friend? Who is it? Who are your five best buddies? Tell me who they are. Okay, who's number one? We go to them and say, we're going to put all the other buddies under you if you decide you're going to run with us. Okay, you want a party? Let's go. Jump in. Let's crank. We're going to put them all underneath you. And we do it with the business contacts. We do it with the community contacts. Okay? Our goal in that first month is to get these four lines started. Okay, we want to sponsor a whole bunch. We might have to sponsor 10 or 15 of these people to get our four lines in place. That's okay. But that's what we're going to do. So that's how FFBC works. And can you see that once we get the corners, as soon as we get the family going and the friends going, we start to run those other straight edges and we complete the border, don't we? We kind of start connecting the puzzle. 
in all of its pieces, and then we spend the next several years putting the whole thing together. And once you put the whole puzzle together, it looks good. You already like the picture you saw, right? You bought it anyway. Now you've got it in reality. Now it's in your hands. All right, and then we actually will start to invite, and I've covered part of inviting by giving you the words already. When I call people, I don't have any specific thing per se. You might want to pick one little phrase that you like best and teach that to your people. And, you know, a lot of people in the States, in fact, Ross Hobbs, who Matt mentioned a moment ago, which is a phenomenal person, she calls up and she'll just say, look, we're calling because we've got this incredible product that can roll five years off your face in ten minutes. It's about the size of an iPhone, all right? And so, you know, it's a little device, we've got all the patents on it, and it is an incredible device to basically remove the wrinkles off your face. And we're calling to tell you about it. There's an incredible opportunity attached with it. Do you have some interest in listening? To this, to this concept and see what this technology does. Okay, just point blank. And she'll, she'll do this for you when she gets here in October. You can listen to her directly. But she's excellent at doing that. For me, I call up people. I just basically say, look, this is what I'm doing. Okay, we've got this incredible company. They've got phenomenal patents on these new products. And in this case, I can just tell them about AgeLock. The company has actually spent six years and they've cracked the code. They've identified the genes in the human genome that control the aging process. It is going to be absolutely huge, and all I'm doing is I'm looking for people that want to play and want to go out there and develop networks with me that will make you free. That's what I'm doing. I'm looking for generals. I'm looking for leaders. I'm looking for entrepreneurs. Now, you've known me a long time, you know, Joe, so I'm not calling you just to jerk your chain. Okay, we need to meet. I need to sit down with you. When are we going to do it? Okay. That's as easy as it is, as easy as it can be. All right, so we're going to make the invite. And we really don't care if they say yes or no. We're just going to keep making the invites to these people and just go right down our list. And we're going to end up having people that are interested, and then we're going to make the presentation. What kind of presentation do we make? Well, in, in the case of what we're doing right now in the US, is once we get to the presentation, there's multiple kinds. If those people are not readily available for us to access them, then we will do it online. We'll say, are you in front of the internet? If you're in front of the internet, go to nsoverview.com and watch the video. And some people will say, I'll stay on the phone while you watch it, and they just listen. Some people will say, I'll call you back in 10 minutes. Go watch the video. If they're close enough to you, it's always better, in my estimation, to sit down and meet with them. Get one one-to-one, -one, two to one, belly to belly, eyeball to eyeball, and sit down, and if you can get two or three people together, great. Do a couple of demos on people. Do the half-face demo right there, and then give them the presentation about the business. Show them the opportunity. Okay, that's what is the very best, most effective thing to do. Why do we still leave at the Galvanic Spa? Even though we have this incredible age like technology. Because the spa is the instant five-minute result. It's the most demonstrable product I've ever seen in the history of network marketing. Nobody has anything like it. In five minutes, it is a huge difference. You know, you do two or three people in a room, and everybody else in the room can see it. They can look at their face, and they're just blown away. And the next morning, it's even better still. It gets better and better, you know, for the next 24 hours. They're just so impressed with that. That's the hot knife through the butter. I mean, that's the course of least resistance, right? And if all you do is the demo and all you talk about is the spa, then all you're going to sell is the product. You're not going to accomplish your goal of finding the distributor, right? Now, some of you, maybe you don't care. If all you want to do is move product, that's great. We're glad you're here. We want you to be a happy distributor, and maybe all you want to do is sell enough to support your own habit. Okay, that's fine. That's great. If you want to get it done, though, if you see the business side of it, then what's your objective? You can only really have one focus in your mind, in my opinion. I think, I mean, for me anyway, all I can focus on is one goal. So my one goal from the very beginning was, I want to be a blue diamond. I have to be a blue diamond. I need that kind of money. I want to do that, and I've got to support my family. So I was always looking for business builders. I was never looking for just customers for the product. I ended up collecting plenty of customers from the people who either didn't want to do it and didn't want to use the product, or they thought they wanted to do it and they became distributors and then they flaked out and just became product users. All right, and that's fine. That's the way you accumulate customers. And I've had customers that I've made thousands of dollars on that have been with me for 21 years. 
They still use it. They still order every month. That might be a jar of enhancer. That might be a jar of rejuvenating cream. I've got a salon in Denver, Colorado. They order $500 in Nutriol every month. And they've done it every month for 21 years. I mean, think of that. That's $6,000 a year of volume for 20 years. That's $120,000 they've done. I've made $6,000 since I've been in this business in commissions from that one, that one customer. Okay? That's pretty incredible. I could have made more than that. Circle group, I probably made, you know, 15,000 from that one customer. Okay, so customers are good. You want them, just collect them. It's just money in the bank. But if you're really going to grow, you've got to find the leader, right? You've got to find people that get the vision and they can duplicate it. They can take off and make it happen. All right, so, so long distance, perfect. You do NS overview. There's lots of different websites. New Skin has different websites in different languages. In this country right here, you guys have an amazing melting pot of nationalities. You can springboard from here globally. No problem. You can build global businesses right out of this city right here. So be aware of the other resources you have. At One Team Global, we've got languages, I don't know, six or seven. We've got about another eight languages coming on in the next two months. We've got websites in process for all of those. We've got multiple languages on NS Overview. Uh, you know, there's resources that you can use to get information to people in other places. And so that's what you need to do. And so that's presentation for long distance. Anything local where you can get with them, you're going to meet with them in person. You can do the same slideshow I'm doing tonight. If you want to adopt that and use it, you can, or whatever presentation you guys use. Everybody here should have a flip chart in your hands so you can sit down and talk to people. You got something to point at when you're sitting at a coffee shop or any place you're at, sitting down and talking to people. Those are the presentation methodologies. Large meetings like we're doing tonight are really the, the rarity. You know, okay, that, that's not really where it happens. It will happen tonight if you guys have invited enough of your guests, then I'll get a bunch of them for you tonight and they'll sign up and you'll have new distributors. But that's not normally where it happens. Most of the business happens one-on-one, -on -one, two on one. All right, so that's what it is. If you guys have to be in massive action every day, if you want to really knock the ball out of the park here, you've got to get after it every single day. All right, after we have presented the business, then we want to sign them up. And sometimes they'll sign up right there, and sometimes it'll be the next day. My experience has been after 21 years of doing this, it's usually a two-step process. It's an exposure, and then it's some other follow-up, a, a three-way conversation, or a sit-down meeting with a, you know, an upline sponsor or partner. Okay, or maybe it's a look at the internet and then come to a meeting like tonight and then they're ready to go. Typically I see that it's a, a two-step process. People need two different exposures, two different you know, people they talk to or people they hear it from, and all of a sudden it validates in their mind and they decide, all right, I'm going to do it. I'm in. I'm going to take action. So the fortune is in the follow-up. Okay? That's what you got to do. And I'm amazed how many people are... Great at inviting, they have no problem recruiting and out there every day recruiting and inviting people to see it. They'll get them in front of the material, they'll get them a brochure, they'll get them to a website, they'll sit down and do a demo, and they never call them back. They never follow up and I think that they're afraid of ultimate rejection or something. They're afraid they're ultimately going to say, no, I'm not interested. So they avoid that pain of rejection by just never following up with people. So the, the fortune is in the follow up. You've got to follow up with people, all right? Now you do that to a point, and I don't sit and ban